Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy Crane here bringing more Ragnarok Online Rebirth with Crane and in this episode we are gonna reach level 99 as you can see in this little top left corner of the screen you can see I'm level 98 job level 50 with 96.6% so all we have to do is get this number to 100 and I'm gonna be level 99 which is gonna allow me to rebirth now what's the problem with that? it takes a damn long time to level once, once you reach level 98 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I've been doing for the longest time I'm gonna show you the how to get there and where I'm leveling up my level 98 and you can basically level up an archer class from level 70 to level 99 here if you're really really patient there's better way to better ways to do it it's way better to get a party and go to Abbey dungeon or something like that but the plus side on this and the reason why people do it and why I'm doing it it's because you can get really good items by going into this place so you go into Glassheim churchyard uh, one map to the left this takes you to the, ne the next level on the sewers then you just gotta fly wing all your way up to the top right corner of the screen and uh, now that I'm here I'm just gonna walk I guess because I might as well right I mean once you get to this side it's just walking up to the screen and all you gotta do is get to the top left corner of the screen and go into the portal and that is gonna take you to a map called um, lower cave of glass game something like that. that that's where the stings and the gargoyles are and it's a really easy place to level up when you're in an archer class because you hit them really fucking hard and they don't even have that much difference or that much health. So they die really quick and it's fairly easy to level up. So that's how you get here. This is a really common leveling spot for archer classes. And it's also where you get glows like this one right here. Supreme glow. And where you get the sting card because they drop from stings. And that is going to give you plus 6 decks which is a really good thing when you're leveling up an archer class. Also, there's gargoyles in this place, and the gargoyle card it also gives you plus 5 decks if you put it on a foot gear. That's only in this server, by the way. That's only in this server. So if you're playing Talon Raw, this is especially better for you. But if, you, if you're playing any other server, even the original Ragnarok Online, you might want to level up here anyways, because the Sting Globe is one of the best accessories for Archer classes. One of the cheapest ones, too. Because you can get like an Orleans Globe or something like that, but they are not as common. Oh my god, a great knight here. That's actually a really red drop. The one I want is an accessory that looks like a globe. That's a globe. I only have one globe, I want to have two of them. Because they're not only going to be useful for this uh, this clown I'm making right now, but they're also going to be necessary for other classes like my champion or my wizard or something like that. They're also useful for a lot of stuff. So as you can see, there's multiple stings here. And I do hit them for like 6k every time I double straight and 1.4k every time I normal attack them. So if you bring a bunch of fire arrows, you bring a bunch of grape juice to restore your SP, you bring fly wings to escape if you're in a sticky situation or you just want to find them easier, then it's a, it's a really good leveling spot. Now, as you can see, after killing like 10 stings or so, I've only gotten like, what, 0.2% or something like that. That's because this place... Even though it's really good for leveling up because there's a million mobs, it doesn't really give you that much experience. And on my level, oh my god, that's not good. Okay, thank you for the charge arrow, little gargoyle. Yeah, uh, even though it's great for leveling up, it's actually a little bit slow. But the word, the drops are really worth it, in my opinion. It's way faster to level up on Abbey if you're just going for levels, if you already have equipment and stuff like that. But, I don't know. If you already have equipment, you pretty much know where this is and why I'm leveling up here, so I don't need to explain it. The reason why I'm picking up the modlums is because I have to go even on my grape juice. So every 300 grape juice, it's like 55k. So I gotta get at least 55k from modlums, which sell for like 400 cent each. So you do the math. I need like 150 or something like that, which is not bad. I mean, uh, 300 grape juice is gonna last me for at least 500 things or something like that, or at least 300 of them. So it's not bad whatsoever because if I hit for 6k without double save, with one double save, I should say. Uh, then it, they only have like 3,000 health left, which I can just go ahead and do it on three normal attacks. So that's not bad whatsoever. Jesus Christ! All right, so I'm at 97.2. As soon as I get to 99, I'm gonna rebirth because I have pretty much all the items I would like. Uh, the refined ballista I have, as I mentioned, I think in an in an earlier episode, it's a rental item. I rented it with bronze coins only on this server from the rental guy. Uh, it's a really good bow, it's extremely good by the way, <laughs> it's why I'm doing so much damage. The puppy hat I'm gonna replace with Lord Cahos once I have them. They're really expensive so I'm just gonna... It's like 57 million or something like that, the cheapest one I've seen. Probably like 54 million or something to get them, but... You'll have to wait, and I don't like waiting. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna sell stuff with my merchant, stuff I get on the side, stuff that's worth a lot of money. I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna save for it. And that gives you plus 20 if you overstat, so it's basically the best item in the game, or something like that. 
And yeah. Other than that, I have my binoculars, which I'm gonna replace with robot eyes as soon as I can get them. But that is gonna uh, that is gonna require me to get a lot of Chiquita boxes, which gives you a random mid gear every time you open one. Um, pennies I'm gonna replace with the ties I already have. Uh, ties one slot. I'm gonna put a Banshee card on them. That gives you plus one dex, and the Banshee card gives you Shadow Elemental for your for your armor. So that will make me take less damage from say batteries or say any monster that's on that demon or Shadow. I think yeah, something like that. Undershirt, I don't, I have no idea what I'm gonna replace it with. Probably a wool scarf. Uh, boots, I'm gonna replace with either shoes with a goggle card, shoes with a GMC card, or um, maybe titles, if I can get titles. But titles are really expensive though. Uh, that sign, I'm gonna replace with another Supreme Globe, and I already have one Supreme Globe. So, I, out of all my items, I'm gonna replace most of them. The thing is, these items I have right now, they're not bad. They're actually pretty decent. The only problem I need, the problem, the only problem I have right now, is I don't really have any cards. But cards, I am gonna farm them with another character, probably like a lower level character, so they can level up as long. I mean, uh, while they're getting the cards, as long as they're normal cards. You can also buy normal uh, cards with uh, talent core, talent coins. But I don't really have the talent coins. I have like two of them. I need at least five for a card, and I don't really have the need to just buy a lot of cards. I really don't. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to get the globe before I hit level 99, but I don't count on it. I mean, you do have to kill like 3,333 freaking stings for you to get either a card, a globe, or a sting hat. And even if you kill 3,333, you're not guaranteed to get the globe, or the card, or the sting hat. It's pretty like you get them, but it's not at all freaking serious. I have gotten one before hitting 3,000 stings, but I killed way more than 3,000. Thing is, I've gotten two cards and a, and a globe, so I'm not complaining whatsoever. It's just I need one more globe. If you don't like to farm stings though, and you want a globe, you can just buy them. They're like 6 million or something like that, and you can just farm 6 million in, in like 3 days if you got if you got a rogue and you just farm great natures. Or, uh, you could also just sell cards and stuff like that that you get randomly. And you'll get it in no time. The thing is, the globe is not really that useful of an item. For it to be worth 6k and you also need a card to compound on it so if you have a card then it might be worth it to buy the globe but if you don't have a card i don't think it's worth it because you can get both the sting card and the gloves from the same monster so you might as well just farm it man stick it up and farm it you can also get the sting card by using talon coins but i don't really recommend doing that i really recommend you save your talon coins for a card that is either mvp which are really hard to get normally because mvps have a really low drop rate on cards i think it's 0.01 or something like that and yeah Oh, come on now. I need to find way more things than I'm finding right now. I'm also half health, which is not good. I also want to re replace that Angry Snarl with at least a Crunch Toast. The thing is, that's only vanity, so that's gonna be the least of my priorities. Fucking okay, annoying thing about the Gargoyles is sometimes they use the little defense scroll move and they gain a lot of defense. I, I don't like that. They turn into stone. Like normal Gargoyles do. I don't like it. I don't like it whatsoever. Also, the, another good thing about leveling up here, the Gygles also drop uh, an accessory called the Bow Thimble, which gives you more damage with bows, and they drop the Artemis Bow, which is one of the best bows you can get. And a lot of people use the bow on snipers. So if you're leveling up a Hunter class, you really want to level up here. I mean, it's one of the probably the best place you can level up at. It just takes a really long time, but it does give you a lot of benefits. So that is not bad whatsoever. 2% more and we're done, guys. So that's not bad whatsoever. I say whatsoever a lot. Have you noticed that? I either say man a lot, whatsoever a lot, or almost a lot. Or a lot, a lot. I do say a lot, a lot. I don't even know what I'm talking about, man. I don't even know that. Hunter has a Whisper Mask. I had that for a long time. If you remember in the beginning of the series, I was using that on my character, on my little bard. I think I used it. Did I use it when I was an archer? No, because it started the series once I turned bard, right? Yeah, I think so. Song of Doom. Alright, 1.9% more. That is really exciting. And then we're gonna turn into a high novice and everything's gonna be sad. I'm gonna feel so empty, you don't even know. Because you spend a lot of time with your character and you get kind of attached to it. I spent like, what, almost a month with this character? And it's, uh, it's a little bit weird, man. Just knowing you're gonna be turned into a novice. The thing is, I really do want to be a clown because the bard, I don't really like that much. The clown is my favorite class in the game, so... 
I'm really excited for getting that. Quagmire sucks, that's a skill that it's an area of effect, and everyone who steps on it, it's slowed and has a debuff on everything that gives him agility or dexterity. So my, ten my attention concentrate is gone every time they cast that, but that's fine. I have a lot of great juice, so it's not a big a problem, it's not. This, okay. Warp around, see if we can find anything good. I think there's a gargoyle here, yeah, there is. Give me the card, man, or the bow, or the bow team. Well, I can sell the bow team for like 4 mil. It's not bad. I have one already. I'm gonna sell that one. Just cause I gotta save for my cows, man. Cows are real good, man. I say man a lot. <laughs> Shit. I need to work on those verbal cliches, man. Verbal cliches for the win. I mean, then again, my commentary is basically based. Basically based. That's a redundancy. It's based on uh, ver verbal cliches anyways. So I might as well just keep them. Because nobody loves this thing. They're also like the ugliest monster ever. Someone's calling on my cell phone, so I'll be right back in just a second. I'm really sorry about that, guys. It was uh, my cousin calling me because he's buying a 3DS for me, and I'm really excited about that. I'm getting it with Pokemon X. So it's gonna be a good time. So if you have Pokemon X, uh, I'm gonna give you my friend code as soon as it's shipped to me. Uh, shipping stuff in Colombia, by the way, it's really hard. So I'm gonna get it on Monday. So Monday, be today being... Oh, this is gonna be posted way after I have my 3DS, so... If you have a 3DS and you have Pokemon X and you wanna like battle with me or trade with me or something like that, I'm gonna post my friend code on the on the description for this video. And that's gonna be that. I really do like Pokemon. It's one of my favorite games and I did grow up playing Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Gold, Crystal, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. It's amazing. I even have a Pokemon Let's Play on my channel if you wanted to watch that. It's a Pokemon hack. I don't really think I completed the hack, but it's uh, it has some really entertaining episodes. So if you do want to watch that, I think it's called Pokemon Snakewood with Crane or something like that. So that's fine. I am planning on doing more Pokemon stuff in the future. Maybe some battles and I'll commentate over them or narrate them. But I do not have my 3DS and I do not have a capture card for it. So I am going to have to wait. I am going to get a bunch of games. I am going to get a bunch of games. Oh my... No, don't cast fucking Quagmire. You fucking Steam. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to get a bunch of games from my 3DS. I'm going to get, I think, Monster Hunter 3. Because I do love the Monster Hunter series. If you know what it is. Then you know it's amazing. If you don't know what it is, then you know it's amazing. Anyways. Other than that, I think I just need uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Because I never played an Animal Crossing game before. But it seems like something I would really enjoy. And something I would spend a lot of time in. It's kind of like an MMO that is not quite an MMO. It's just... It's fun. It's fun. I like it. I'm also gonna get Sonic Generations because I love Sonic games and that's probably the best Sonic game that's came out in like a million years. Uh, Super Smash Bros. U 3DS, I think it's called. I am gonna get as soon as it comes out. Other than that, I don't think I'm gonna get any more games. Maybe Professor Latium vs. Uh, Ace Attorney? Maybe? I don't know. I, d I really do like Professor Latium games, but I don't know if I wanna play it. If I wanna pay 40 bucks for a Professor Latium game, I might. I don't know. By the way, stuff in Colombia, it is really way more expensive than in the US, so if you think everything's as cheap as the US here, you better think twice, because everything here is gonna have to be imported from the US, so you gotta pay shipping costs, all that good stuff. And inflation rates are also affected by it, so it sucks. 1.2 more percent and we're done here, man. No more stings for a while. I do have to farm that globe eventually, but I'm gonna do it once I'm a clown. Because there's no rush. I have the card already, so I can just buy it if I want to. The thing is, I want to save money for my cows, though. So, let's kill some more freaking blobs with gloves on their faces. Do things have a face? Maybe they're just a hand. That is confusing as hell to me. Anyways. Come on, man. That's a clown. I like that. This is the, this is the first clown I've seen in a while, though. No one really builds a clown, which is part of the reason why I like it so much. Also, I'm planning on doing an MVP clown. I'm not planning to do a PvP clown because PvP clowns get shit on on PvP. They're not really the strongest class on PvP, even though they are pretty good against just normal mobs. They're not really that great against other players because they're squishy and other people are tanky. That's basically the reason. We don't have any defense piercing skills other than Tarot Card of Fate, but that's just luck. And I don't like luck. One more percent, by the way. If I die, I just want you to know this. If I die, I am gonna have to level up one more percent because every time you die you lose one percent which really hurts when you're level 99 because you just saw how long it takes me to just get one percent it's probably like 15 things or something probably more things than that how many things have I killed how many mod do I have I've killed 72 things which means probably more than that because I haven't been able to pick up some mod bombs. 
and I've only leveled up like 3% or something like that, so as you can see, it's not that easy once you level 98. And it's even worse when you're trusting dental class like the clown is, because uh, everything gives you like half the experience. So you're gonna have to basically get a pot if you wanna reach 99 as a trusting dental class, or maybe MVP a little bit or something like that. But I do plan, once I have uh, my equipment done, I do plan to go MVP or get some parties. And nothing like a gangster party. Let me get my Encore up there because I did replace it with the white pots on the last episode. The one we finished the... we, we finished the sign quest last episode, which was... Uh, of my existence. It did me fucking nightmares. I'm telling you, it's the worst thing ever. Freaking quest sucks. Okay, let's use some double saves here. I don't want to get killed by these things. They do attack really fast. That's the problem with these things. If they reach you, they attack really fast. And if you don't have enough lead to dodge them, yeah, you're gonna get killed real quick. Although the gargoyles have a lot of hits, so they can hit you almost every time if you don't have enough agility. So that sucks. You get a bunch of agility to come in here. But if you are an archer class, then you probably do have a bunch of agility, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Oh, gargoyle die. I'm probably gonna have to back, which sucks. Because Getting here is not the easiest of tasks. I mean, it's not hard, but it's definitely not easy. I am only missing 0.6%, so if I can make this worry without dying, I am gonna be 99 by the time I have to back, which is great. Only 5 more percent. I mean, not 5 more percent, 0.5 percent. 5 more percent would suck, basically. <laughs> I did start this uh, video when I was missing 4% or something, so it's gonna be like 25 minutes for just 4%. Which is uh, something else, man, I'm telling you. It takes you a long time to level up the last levels of this goddamn thing. As I've said a million times already. But I mean, redundancies are redundant. Get it? I don't want to fuck with that. The gargoyle will probably kill me. A charger will be enough to kill me. Because I only have 730 HP left and they do like a thousand damage with that thing. So I don't want to fuck with that. I don't have any defenses. 99.6%. But uh, I can't speak. I know words, I know English, man. Oh, get away from me. Okay, okay. I, I thought he didn't die for a second. I was like, what the fuck? Point three more. Come on. Just come on, guy, girls. You don't want to fuck with me. You don't want to fuck with this. This bitch. Okay. No. No. Point two more percent. Come on now. We can do this! Run away! This thing is gonna get you! Gonna get you! Come on, at least give me a silk ribbon! Give me something! Freaking stings are not dropping shit! They drop two great natures and that's it! That sells for like around 3.5k, so that's not bad, but still. Holy crap, Batman! Come on, die, Gargoyle! Give me your card! Damn, he hit me! Fuck! There's some uh, stings down there, let's go. Let's go! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 99.99%. Four more things should do it. Four more things. Here's one. Uh, here's number two. And, uh, no. The sucker is gonna kill that one, I believe. He did not. Wait a second, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is so close. Come on, the hype is real. The hype is so real, I really want to be 99, come on now. I'm gonna warp. Oh, that's a scary place. I don't wanna lose my percent once I'm 99.99%. Let's take a screenshot, why don't we? Uh, him? There you go, that's a screenshot. And done. 99%. I mean, level 99. Amazing. So now I'm level 99 a base, level 50 job with 100% experience, so I cannot get any more experience, as you can see, it gives me 0.00% experience, so what we're gonna do is, since there's no point just sticking around here, it was exactly 100 things by the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell those fucking mod mobs, sell the coal, I need the, the little little wings, uh, what else did I pick up, the great nature I'm gonna sell with my merchants, so there's no need to do that. And we are gonna go Rebirth, why don't we? So let's go to Frontera real quick. I'm not gonna do the quest for Rebirth because that's just a waste of 1.2 million because it doesn't really give you anything. Ah, oh, let's take another screenshot. It doesn't really give you shit. Oh, I have an aura by the way, it's really nice. 
it doesn't really give you shit, but it does take away 1.2 1.2 million from you. So yeah. So we're gonna talk to the job master. Welcome, please select the job you wish to change to. You can also do the official job quest chain to receive bronze coins for doing so. However, never use this job changer on any part of the quest if you do so. Do you want to reborn? This is a scary moment in my life. I want to thank the academy, my mom, my dad, and everyone who's ever supported me on this let's play. Let's do it. Fuck I'm a novice. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out guys and take care.